a horrific situation, deadly and connected to a mega church. Let's put up the first picture. A mega church leader has been charged with killing their 11 year old daughter, Letitia Diane McCormick, 49 year old ordained elder at San Diego's Rock Church, was taken into custody on November 7th and charged with one count of first degree murder, three counts of torture, and three counts of willful cruelty to a child. Let's go to the children. This is hard. Her crimes are connected to the torture and death of her adopted 11 year old daughter. Occurred nearly three months ago. San Diego Sheriff's Lieutenant Chris Steffen reportedly said signs of bruising were found all over the body. And it is believed that the little girl <clears throat> suffered from malnourishment. Um, and I'm going to be transparent. It's very difficult for me to do these stories because I was a foster kid. Um, and uh, these stories are always tough. The parents, right? Letitia's parents, Adela and Stanley Tom were also arrested. I want you to think about how deep this goes. The parents of Letitia were arrested as well in connection to the death of this child. Stanley 75 is also facing one count of first degree murder, three counts of torture, and three counts of willful cruelty to a child. Adela 70 was charged with three counts each of torture and willful cruelty to a child. The two additional counts of torture and child cruelty stem from an alleged or alleged criminal acts toward Arabella's two younger sisters, ages six and seven. The two surviving girls have been placed in the care of a foster family, the sheriff's office said. How did the investigation start? It's always a starting point with these investigations. Authorities say the investigation until the family began when deputies from the sheriff's rancho station responded to an emergency call about a child in distress. This was approximately 2 a.m. August 30th. First responders found the child later identified as Arabella. And emergency medical services personnel rushed her to the hospital. The sheriff's office said that the child's condition indicated that she had been a possible victim of child abuse. While in the hospital, the child's health continued to decline. She was pronounced dead. According to a release from the sheriff's office during the investigation into Arabella's death, deputies contacted her father, Brian McCormick near the family's home. He committed suicide in their presence. Brian McCormick, who was an agent with the US Customs and Border Protection, reportedly shot himself in the head while inside his pickup truck on August 30th. Investigators have not said whether they believe he was involved in the abuse allegedly inflicted on the three children, I think he was. Furthermore, Arabella's biological aunt reportedly said that Child Protective Services removed the three girls from a sister's home in 2017. They were fostered and then adopted by the McCormicks in 2019. She added that the girls were removed from the school following their adoption. Let's go to the Rock Church was founded in 2000 by former NFL player Miles McPherson, who actually still serves as the senior pastor. Um, the person who committed these heinous crimes, um, the person who led them was an ordained minister at that church. I'm just, I'm thinking about how everybody in that child's life um, failed her. Everybody, including her biological parents. Now, where's the, where's the outrage from the Christian right, the Christian evangelicals? Where's the outrage? Where's the outrage? from politicians who could create legislation, statutes to remedy things like this, or, or perhaps provide more tools to find them earlier. Not a peep, nothing. They don't want to solve these problems. These are the real problems that politicians should be solving. They don't even talk about them. They rather you think that critical race theory is somehow an evil inside of school systems. Yeah, that's what they'll hang their hat on. They'll hold a press conference about teaching the KKK inside of K through 12 education, but they won't hold a press conference about this. Sharon, thoughts here. As a mother, I, I can't imagine 
as you said, everybody failed. And there's something in the share statement that was just a throwaway line at the end, Dr. Ritchie, that the two surviving children are in the care of a foster family. There's a lot of great foster families. And there's some messed up ones who are doing the devil's work. And that's what we have here. I wonder, I wonder what's next for those little girls. Yeah, yeah.